Hey my squidlings, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another review for you guys. Um, I am reviewing another set of my Artscape brushes, but these are different than the large handled set I showed you a while back. These are really cool, so let's just get to opening them. So they come in a nice box and it has the My Artscape logo on it. And then you open it up and you see this. You have a little brochure that tells you you know, thank you, and they give you tips on how to use your brushes. Um, you can give a product review if you bought them, tips on brush cleaning in general, um, and they're just really awesome. And then they always want to work with you if you have any problems. They're a super, super nice company, and um, and I'm pretty sure they have guarantees as well. Um, like if you have a problem or whatever, there's like a year guarantee as far as I know. Alright, so then there is the case here, and as far as I can tell, at least looking on their Amazon store right now, they only have purple and black available, but I do believe maybe they're just sold out of other colors, because I'm pretty sure they had a pink. I could be wrong, though. So anyway, um, you take the case out of the box, which I love the box. I always love how they package things. And then you can unzip it. And here are the brushes, and I cannot describe to you how good these smell. I wish YouTube had smell-o-vision because they smell good. I always love opening brushes and smelling them. <laughs> it's weird. Okay. So these are their 15 set of synthetic hair brushes. So they're going to work like a hog hair brush, kind of. Um, and they're all white-tipped, unlike here. Let me get a um, long-handled golden tackle on brush for me to compare. Hold on. Alright, so here is a comparison. This is a golden tackle on brush that they sent me a while back. Um, and then here's the handle. Um, and then let's compare it to this one, which seems pretty similar. So the handles on the synthetic brushes, they are longer. Um, and this, they actually say what they are on the handle. Unlike the older ones, they don't say what they are. Um, they have the My Artscape logo on both of them, and they are numbered. Um, this is a number 11, and this is a number 8, and they're actually pretty close in size for being such a large number difference between them. Um, the ferrule on the golden tackle brushes are like a gold, and the ferrule on the synthetic brushes are a nice silvery color. Um, and as you can see the difference between the handles as well, is the golden tackle on brushes have like a shiny handle, like super shiny gloss, whereas the synthetic brushes they're more of a matte kind of satin and they feel very very nice. Not that the older ones don't, but these feel super nice. Um, so there are you know some differences here. I mean nothing game breaking like they're gonna be horrible. I mean I don't see any quality differences. I feel like these handles though would stand up better to being in water for long periods of time. Um, and I have a feeling that's what they designed them for. So like I said, they have the names of all the brushes on the handles, which I find very helpful, especially if you are looking for a certain brush or you're just new to this and you don't know what they're called by heart because I know I don't know what they're all called by heart. I always get flats and brights mixed up. Um, and I can already see the, the points on uh, the rounds are super nice. Uh, I am going to be using this set per in particular for oils, but... Um, yeah, and I'm not going to mix, I know I say this in every My Artscape brush video, <laughs> but I'm not going to mix my oils with my water-based media just because you don't want to burn your brushes, so. Anyway, and they come in a nice array of sizes, so there is a number 9 bright, a number 8 flat, number 8 filbert, number 8 round, number 6 filbert, number 5 flat, number 8 angle, number 6 angle, Number five bright, number five round, number three round, number four flat, number zero fan, number one round, and a number one flat. So they got some teeny, teeny, tiny sizes, um, which I think is great. I love the fact that they have some tiny sizes. Um, now, if you want some really tiny sizes, I will link you up here to a card where you can find the My Artscape detail brushes. Those guys are amazing. They are super tiny um, and they're really great for detail. So another cool thing about this is they have this little hanger thing you can use to hang it up. And another awesome thing that I always love about these brushes is that they are a kind of like a easel stand in one. So you can stand your brushes up and grab them as you need them and then you can unvelcro them and just put them right back down. Um, and both sides do that so it's not just the one side. 
but I love how they're packaged. They came to me super nice. As far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, just for first glance, I obviously have not used them and I haven't gotten the sizing off of them yet either. Um, you do want to pay attention though to your brushes. If you get new brushes, always wash them before you use them because you don't want that sizing on it. It's going to make it real stiff and stuff. So, alright, um, I can't really talk about the quality or anything of them yet, like as far as usage wise. They say that they have interlocked hair which retains shape for precise stroke control, so that's one thing we'll be testing. They say it is anti-shedding, so we'll test that as well. Ultra durable, they say it lasts longer than bristle. I have some bristle brushes, so I'll kind of do, maybe not on the video, but for myself, I'll do a little comparison and I'll talk about that. It says it doesn't lose strength or shape when wet, so we will test that. It says it rivals natural hair, but easier to clean, um, so that's cool. I'm, I don't use regular, like, hair brushes on an, a normal basis, so I don't think I'll be able to talk about that, but I will compare it to the ones I do have. And they're animal friendly, of course, because they're synthetic. They don't use any real hair stuff in it, so that is always a plus. And these are good for acrylic paint, acrylic heavy paint, oil paint and water mixable oils. Those are the, what they say on the Amazon website that they're good for. And of course, if you want to purchase these, I will put a link down in the description below as well as a link to the My Artscape website because they're awesome. And I'm always super thankful that they let me test out their brushes because I, I guess they like what I do and that makes me really happy. <laughs> so, and also like I was saying earlier, they do offer a full one year warranty. So just so you know that. Um, now I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get into an illustration and we'll go further on and I'll talk about it and I'll rate them and stuff like that. So I hope to see you over there. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna hop right into it. So this was not my first painting with these brushes. I actually used them a couple times uh, before just to get a feel for them and I honestly enjoy them. Um, I'm gonna jump right into the rating and I give it a nine and a half. The only reason it's not a 10 is because I have very limited experience with you know like real bristle brushes and synthetic real bristle brushes synthetic bristle brushes anyway um i have very limited experience with those so i don't want to give it a 10 because like i said i don't have a very good experience so my knowledge is very limited when it comes to that um they're amazing though holy crap um the bristles they stayed really nice and firm um they didn't, they're not as soft as like, you know, a golden tackle on brush, which is really nice for oil painting. There was no shedding, it kept its shape, unlike the real brushes. I told you guys that I was going to kind of test them in my own time with my brushes that are real bristles, um, like real hair. Uh, and the real bristle brushes that I have, they don't keep their shape very easily. I don't know why, maybe I just have a bad brand, but it, it was, yeah, they fray out. These ones, on the other hand, you know, they are, um, they're pretty shapely. They have a really nice variety in shapes and sizes. I do enjoy the, uh, the sizes they have. Now, the only con I can think of that's not really a con is that just, they don't have smaller brushes, but they could always remedy that by making, like, um, mini brushes of this particular, like, brush type, like the hair type. Um, so maybe they'll do that. That would be really awesome. Uh, the handles are really nice to hold, they're really sturdy, um, I, they felt really comfortable in my hand, I enjoyed them, and I liked that they weren't like, the gloss, I don't know how to explain it, but the gloss ones felt like they stuck to my hand a little bit more, and this one they were more matte, so, you know, there was less like, sticky feeling, I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> uh, they seemed to hold a nice amount of paint, so that was always a good thing, and I honestly prefer them to the real hair brushes, um, they're really nice, and they're really easy to clean. You don't have to worry about like the real hair part of it. I don't know. I just, I prefer these. I really like them. So anyway, uh, I'm going to talk about the painting now since uh, we're more than halfway through the painting. Um, so I had this sketch in my sketchbook a long time ago of just like a doll. And before I wasn't really trying to get in backgrounds, but now I am. So I decided to do her as like a living doll in a dollhouse and she looks really creepy. <laughs> Um, but I like how she turned out. I actually ended up lining her in black. Uh, you'll see that in the end picture or whatever. And, you know, I think it's okay. I kind of wish I had left it without lining it, but I didn't, and I can't take it back now. So, anyway, yeah. I don't know. I love working in oils, though. That's really nice just to 
you know, sit back and paint and then take a break and paint some more. And the only thing I hate is, like, the turp smell because, like, I die every time. <laughs> it's pretty freaking intense. But, I don't know, I had a really great experience with these brushes. They're really nice. Um, like I said, though, I don't have a huge experience with them. Just, you know, I'm just a small little artist who's not very experienced with things. But, you know, this is my experience and I really enjoyed them. Um, and if you're into oil painting and you need some brushes, I feel like you would too. But I'm not trying to sell it to you. You don't have to like them. You don't have to get them. I just want to show you what I like and all that stuff. So anyway, I uh, really hope you guys liked the video and the picture. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up the video. And don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe to join our cute little squid army and to keep updated with my videos. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!